Welcome back to another episode of reviewing fabric rectangles you put on your back and store stuff in. I am your host, John Sofa, and as you can notice, I have lost about 70% of my hair, and this is my new hairstyle, at least for the next uh, couple weeks. Today, I'm going to be showing you the Targus Balance Eco Smart Backpack, both in the 15.6 inch variety and the 14 inch variety back here. Uh, for the purpose of this review, I'll just be going over all the features of this larger bag. They're identical to the smaller bag. This one's just smaller. One of my favorite things about backpacks are backpacks that look nice. Now, this is a very clean, very unassuming bag. No frills, no fancy colors, just nice and clean. Give you a little, little product review look here. Take a look. It's in a book. It's reading rainbow. You may be asking, what is EcoSmart? Well, according to this little guy here, EcoSmart is, uh, this bag is made with recycled materials. Reduce, recycle, reuse. Is that supposed to be reduce, reuse, recycle? Who messed that up? Upcycle. From bottle to bag, made from recycled materials and fabric, PVC-free, nickel-free hardware, and recyclable plastic components. As uh, you may have noticed if you went on their website, uh, their uh, EcoSmart line all has this like green, green line. The very front, you are greeted with one little pocket up top here. This has like a nice soft touch material inside so it won't scratch your glasses, but I don't know if you wanna put glasses in here because it's not crush proof, but uh, if you're careful, I suppose you could put glasses in there, you could put like a mouse in there, so most frequently accessed items could go in there. And this is a little bit expandable pocket space in there. This bottom pocket down here is made for your AC adapter. So put that in. This adapter goes right in there. I will say this is a nice size opening for this for this compartment, but on the 14 inch, it's kind of smaller and uh, it's a little bit more difficult to get a power adapter in there. Now, granted, I have a big 90 watt power adapter from my laptop from 2012, so I'm guessing modern day 14 inch laptops have much smaller power adapters. So maybe that's not a not an issue. It also has these like uh, what is it called Molly straps. So you could put additional bags on here, or maybe you could even put like a proper water bottle holder because the one on this side is very small and I have a feeling it's gonna wear out pretty quickly. It's, it's just made just too small. Uh, you can just fit a 20 ounce non-insulated water bottle in here and it really stretches this elastic tight. So I'm a feeling this elastic isn't gonna last very long, but time will tell. I've only been using mine for like a month and it's been okay for the month. Uh, it comes with a nice handle on this side. So it allows you to go into briefcase mode. So if you gotta navigate your way in like a, um, uh, what are those called, uh, airplanes. <laughs> An airplane hallway, aisleway, or a train aisleway. You can, you can carry your backpack like this if you want, briefcase style. And these are nice, nice thick handles, and they're you know all double stitched, so nice and nice and rugged. Also has a little, uh, I guess this is for hanging it up. It's like a, a seat belt material, hang it up on a coat hook. That's it for the for the front half, the back half. I gotta say, these straps are nice. They're nice and wide, and they're padded just enough. Not to be like too obtrusive. And they they feel great. I, I, I gotta say, this is probably one of the best feeling backpacks I've, I've had in a while. And it's just because the straps are nice and wide. It distributes the weight very nicely on your shoulders. And this padding right here, this is nice and soft and, and comfy. It is nice. And it's placed in just like all the right places. Mm -hmm. Uh, it doesn't have anything in the middle here, so it just snugs onto your back, and it just, it's like it's giving you a hug. It's really nice. So, so, so good job, Targus. Great, great job on this design. It is a really great standard sternum strap, adjustable sternum strap here, but no waist strap, which is okay, because it fits so nice on your back. Also, you get a nice uh, trolley strap here, too, if you want to put it on your rolling suitcase. Very nice zipper pulls, um, you know, big, able to grab onto them easy, use them. Zippers feel really nice. Let's talk about water resistance on this bag. So the outside of this bag, you can see the shiny part is all like recycled plastics. And I'm guessing this is like a high density polyethylene because most water bottles are like high density polyethylene. So this part is waterproof. Water will not get through this part. But the non-shiny areas like right here and right here, that is not water proof. Uh, so this bag has a very high water resistance, but it's not completely waterproof. So if you get stuck in like a quick downfall or just a light rain, I think your stuff will just, it, it'll be fine. But there are some weak points, you know, the, the zippers aren't 
water sealed either. So be careful there and you know the entire back is not. But I would say overall, because there is so much of this waterproof uh, coated canvas material, you, you should be fairly, fairly okay. Uh, let's go inside. So the laptop compartment is very nice. This has their sling port protection. Is, is that what they call it? Safe port sling protection system. And it is nice. So this is the main laptop compartment uh, outlined here with a nice green. And the bottom of this of this section does not hit the bottom of your laptop. So when you set your laptop down, or your, your, when you set your, your bag down, the bottom of the bag does not impact the bottom of your laptop, which is great. As well as inside here, there is a elastic band that, that is kind of like here and it loops around. Maybe. You guys see that, that light color in there? That's an elastic band that is at the bottom of that compartment. So what that means is your laptop really is, is hanging suspended about right here in this compartment. So not only is this compartment off the bottom of the bag, your laptop is off the bottom of this compartment. So really good protection. And I gotta say too, the rest of, of the padding, like around here, in, you know, in this section is, is, is decent. And of course the back is nice and thick here. So your laptop is going to be very well protected. Also right here too, there's some nice foam there. So very, very good protection of your laptop device. Turning it over this way, have a dedicated tablet pocket with like a soft touch material on the inside here and a place to put some papers or a magazine. And I venture to say you could fit like a 15.6 inch, six inch workstation laptop here. I bet you could fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro right here and a 12 inch MacBook. So I, I bet, don't hold me to it, but I bet you could fit three laptops in this bag, which already makes it a winner in my book. Does this tag have any in, 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 in interesting? This tag says, this article contains new material only, but then how can it be recycled? Hmm. So that is the back laptop compartment. And there's only one section left, and that is this guy right here. Decent organization right here. You know, pens and doodads and you can put your power bank here and it has a little pocket here, which is very deep, about that deep. Let's put all your other tech accessories in there and keychain. The 14 inch version only has two pencil holder things here, pen holders. So that's the only difference though, is it just only has two, not three. And this front part does not have any pockets. You can see this is the expandable section from that pocket right here. And then the expandable section from this pocket down here you have to go bazooka style. Is it, is it possible? Is it possible? You can see it's, it's right here. So that does encroach into this space, which if you haven't noticed, this is the main storage section of the, of the bag. And that's the one thing I don't like about this bag is it doesn't have a dedicated storage compartment because if you can see, you know, from here, let's see if I can do this from here back is just padding. Here to here is the laptop compartment. And then all, all you have left is this front section, which does expand out, you know. So you can fit some stuff in there, but not a whole lot. So let's let's uh, move over to the 14 inch version. Cause I have this thing loaded up. So you can see pad, laptop compartment and main storage. So it is a little bit limited for storage. So if you are a student and you need to carry a lot of textbooks, this probably is not like the best, best bag to carry with you. But if you are just an office, office worker with a laptop and a few papers, or you're just taking your stuff to a cafe or a library, this is a very nice bag. I don't know if we'll have enough time to, we will. Okay, I'm just gonna take everything out of this bag so you can kind of get an idea of what you can all fit in there. So, you know, in front here, I just have a mouse, and a little tech organizer thing that's just in here. This is the whole big power adapter that is having a little difficult to get out of this little area just because it's so big. There we go. That. And all, all I have in here is two fairly large textbooks, you know. So that, that can fit in there, but that's about it. That's all you can really fit in there. And I won't take all the pens and stuff out. Notebook and battery. 
Okay, then I just have, you know, some papers in here, and what do I got in here? Another notebook, and then laptop. This is just a 14-inch laptop. So you can see, you can fit a decent amount of stuff, but since that main storage pocket and the kind of like tech organization pockets all in one, you're a little bit limited to the space. But other than that, hey, this is a really nice bag. It feels great on the back. It's just excellent job with the straps and the back padding. Uh, fairly water resistant, not waterproof, but since this is all water sealed, this shiny part is, it uh, does a pretty good job of keeping water out. Good zippers, good pulls. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't like that they don't have the zipper uh, zipper heads uh, lockable. You can't lock them up. You could probably fit, fit a lock through there, but they don't have an extra little tang on there to lock. So since it's kind of like geared towards office, I wish they would have done that, but they didn't. So ah. my only gripe was just kind of storage space. Everything else is really nice. And the great thing is it's a fairly cheap backpack. This, uh, the 15.6 inch version, you can find online for $36. I think for $36, that's one of the best backpacks you can buy. And this one, the 14 inch is probably a couple dollars cheaper than that. So like maybe like $35. Just a really great value for the comfort and just the, the overall quality um, feels decent. I will say though, this coated canvas material, I don't know if over time it's gonna start cracking and kind of coming off. I have a feeling it might, but I gotta say for like 36, $40, you really can't go wrong. I definitely highly recommend this backpack. Cool, well, hey, I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you a quick look at the bag and answered some of the questions that you had. Definitely very comfortable bag and thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys, that's all I got.